the Sean Diddy Combs investigation. You'll remember just last week, two of his mansions, one in Los Angeles, one in Miami, were raided by federal agents in an ongoing investigation regarding sex trafficking. In the meantime, uh, we have been bringing on reporters who have been covering this very closely. One of my main questions to them uh, periodically has been, well, where is Diddy? Uh, well, I want to put this tweet up here. We're getting a Diddy sighting, so to speak. Uh, TMZ saying he rides his bike around Miami amid the federal investigation and Fox News Digital obtained photos of just that. Diddy spotted riding his bike around Miami there, and you can see no hands on the bike, but uh, that's yet another spotting that we have of him. Now, some of this Instagram video as well, moments federal agents breached the mansion uh, and conducted their raid there and some aerial pictures from that day over his sprawling mansion in the Holmby Hills. In the meantime, let's uh, focus a little bit more though, on the investigation itself. Fox 5 New York reporter Lisa Evers has more. Let's watch. For sure, the civil lawsuits accusing Sean Diddy Combs of sexual assault, sex trafficking, and other offenses are shocking and disturbing. Months after the claims were filed, some still wanted to believe the motive was money, not justice. But on March 25th, federal raids on his Los Angeles and Miami homes changed everything. Combs continues to categorically deny all the accusations, but the feds for the first time confirmed a criminal investigation is underway. It's a game changer because now the state are much higher and his very freedom could be on the line. On March 25th, the image of armored vehicles rolling along the tree-lined streets of wealthy Holmby Hills shocked viewers. In this video from Fox 11, you can see Homeland Security agents in tactical gear with long guns lining up in what's called a stack at the gate to Sean Diddy Combs' $40 million compound, acting on search warrants. Diddy's attorney, Aaron Dyer, called the raids a gross overuse of military-level force. The equipment was most likely the result of concerns about guns and drugs on the property, says Homeland Security expert Hal Kempfer. We're looking at HSI going in uh, kind of heavy, uh, armored vehicles, uh, ballistic protection, uh, assault rifles, basically, uh, with a lot of other things that they needed uh, because they were very concerned about the uh, threat assessment. What was there? For several decades following the murder in 1997 of his bad boy record superstar, Notorious B.I.G., Sean Diddy Combs has been a larger-than-life figure. He set trends in music, fashion, lifestyle, and branding as a businessman and entrepreneur. He's even appeared on Broadway and in feature films. He applied his music industry-honed marketing skills to his Sean John clothing line, Ciroc Vodka, Revolt TV, and other ventures. Before the lawsuits compelled many entities to cancel their association with him. Diddy's cultural footprint was huge, says New York Post lifestyle reporter Asia Grace. Diddy was the untouchable man. He was on the Mount Rushmore of hip-hop moguls. There was nothing he couldn't do, no space that he couldn't dominate, whether that was music, pop culture, fashion, education, politics. I mean, my entire life, Diddy was the man. The civil lawsuit allegations have already cost Combs millions of dollars in losses from canceled deals. The there was public humiliation on social media where the more sensational claims spread like wildfire. Combs continues to deny the allegations, but claims made in civil cases can lead to criminal investigations and criminal charges, says criminal defense attorney Dante Mills. They move forward with a civil case, but in that civil case, they spell out what happened. Uh, and because of who they were suing, Sean Combs, it got people's attention. And the way the investigators work is they're just kind of out and about and they're looking and they have their eyes open and their ears open. And when they see something that they think could be illegal activity, they start to investigate. As new developments unfold here, it's important for us to understand exactly what we're seeing. I hope you'll join us as we go in depth with our expert panel on the next episode of Street Soldiers, Friday night, right after the 10 o'clock news. I'm Lisa Evers, Fox 5 News.